Hello, dear sisters and brothers. Welcome to Off the Pulpit here on Catholic SG Radio. I'm Andrea Chuck. I'm Beatrice de Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, she is. Thank you so much for joining us on this program. Now, uh, because, uh, you know, this program is an, uh, an opportunity, really, for us to bring on members of our clergy to come in and talk about matters of faith, we really have an opportunity to get to know our faith all the better. And uh, this particular second program is for Lent this year. And so today, we'll be discussing on works of mercy. Yes, so we've started this mini series uh, on the pillars of Lent. Right. And uh, today to help us help us with this series is uh, Reverend Father Ignatius Yo, parish priest of St. Anthony of Padua in Woodlands. He's professor of liturgy at the St. Francis Xavier's Seminary here in Singapore. And he's also chair of the Archdiocesan Liturgy Commission and master of ceremonies for our major liturgical celebrations in the Archdiocese. So, welcome back, Father. Thank you. Uh, welcome, Father. <laughs> Happy to be here. <laughs> okay. All right, let's dive right in mm. on the works of mercy. So, Father, when the Church uh, teaches about works of mercy, what exactly is it referring to? Yeah. Mm. So, for that, we turn to the Catechism of the Catholic Church and we see it in paragraph 2447. It reads instructing, advising, consoling, and comforting our spiritual works of mercy as our forgiving and bearing wrongs patiently. Hmm. The corporal works of mercy consist especially in feeding the hungry, sheltering the homeless, clothing the naked, visiting the sick and imprisoned, and burying the dead. Generally quoted from Matthew chapter 25, verse 31 and the following. Right. Among all these, giving alms to the poor is one of the chief witnesses of fraternal charity. It is also a work of justice that is pleasing to God. And so we hear from Luke chapter 3, verse 11. He says, He who has two coats, let him share with him who has none. And he who has food must also do likewise. But to give alms to those who are also within, and behold, when you do so, everything will be made clean for you. Mm. Luke chapter 11, verse 41. Wow. Yeah. Father, it's also said that the corporal works of mercy and the spiritual works of mercy each have uh, with them seven elements, mm. right? Mm. Yes. Can you share that with us, Father? So incidentally, the church also chooses seven because seven is a number mm. of perfection. That's right? right. So the works of mercy are charitable actions by which we come to the aid of our neighbor in his spiritual and bodily necessities. And thus it is related to the corporal works of mercy. But mm. let us begin with exploring what are these seven corporal works yeah. of mercy. Mm. The corporal works of mercy are oriented towards the body, our bodies. Thus it is corporal. Ah, oh, okay. Mm. Meaning bodily. Oh, right, ah, okay. Bodily works of mercy. Right. Huh? Six of the seven are mentioned in Matthew chapter 25, verse 31 to 40, as the goal for us to be judged worthy of salvation. Ah, uh, yes. While Matthew chapter 25, 41 to 46, warns us that omission of them then will result in our outright damnation. This is taken from the gospel text when the Lord separates sheep yeah, and goats. Yeah, that's right. right? Ah, mm. I remember that one. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so now as a deprivation of burial in the history of the church was viewed with horror by the Jews, the seventh corporal work of mercy is taken from Tobit, chapter 1, verse 17 to 19, and it was later added. Mm. So the seven corporal works of mercy and their scripture texts are as follows. First, to feed the hungry. We get that also from Proverbs chapter 22, verse 9, Isaiah 58, verse 10. And of course, from Matthew also chapter 14, verse 15 to 21. To give drink to the thirsty, we get that in Isaiah in the Old Testament, right. chapter 55, verse 1. And of course, and we said it's from also Matthew 25, verse 35. We also see that also in John chapter 6, verse 35. To clothe the naked, 
Mm. That's taken directly from Matthew chapter 25 verse 36, mm-hmm. sheltering the homeless, Matthew 25 verse 35, to visit the sick, Matthew 25 36, visit the imprisoned, Matthew 25 36, and to bury the dead, as I said earlier, is taken from Tobit right. chapter 1, 17 to 19. Mm. Now, the seven, these are the seven corporal works of mercy, right? And so next we would like to explore the seven spiritual works of mercy. Mm, that's mm. right. Yeah. So um, Father has just explained the corporal works of mercy are oriented toward the body. Right. So then, not necessarily our body. But it's yes. Other the people's physical body, yes. right? physical body yes, right. right? Right. So if we're talking, yes. yes, that's the right. Latin corporal. word. Corporal. Yes. yes. And so if we talk about the spiritual works of mercy, are they oriented toward the soul? Yes, so that's correct, mm. and that hence they are therefore spiritual, right? Ah, okay. uh, right. No spirits, lah, but spiritual. Yeah, ah, okay. 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 <laughs> Though ideally applicable to all the faithful, not everyone is considered capable or obliged to perform the first three works of spiritual works of mercy, mm. right? And we we'll explain that later. And, and why? Because they require more tech knowledge and maybe also. Canonical training to do so. Wow. Okay. Yeah. The remaining four spiritual works of mercy are considered to be an obligation for all the faithful mm. to practice unconditionally. Mm. Okay, because you can do it and right. you should do it. So the seven spiritual works of mercy and their scripture references are first admonish the sinner that we get from Proverbs chapter twenty-seven verse seventeen, Luke fifteen verse seven. To instruct the ignorant, we get that from Matthew chapter twenty-eight, nineteen to twenty, Mark sixteen, fourteen to eighteen, and also we see that in the letter to Timothy, second letter to Timothy, chapter three, verse sixteen to seventeen. To counsel the doubtful, we have that from Matthew chapter thirteen, verse eighteen to twenty-three, Mark four, verse thirteen to twenty, and also Luke chapter eight, eleven. Fifteen. Mm. So these are the three not non-obligatory okay. spiritual works of mercy, mm. as I said, because it required tech knowledge and maybe also proper training. Mm. Right. Now the this the other four, which is to bear wrongs patiently. Anybody can do that, right? right? right. So we get that also from Matthew chapter five, thirty-eight to forty-eight, mm. Luke six twenty-seven to thirty-six, to forgive offenses willingly. That mm. we have from. Matthew chapter six, verse fourteen to fifteen, Mark eleven twenty five, Luke eleven one to four, comfort the afflicted. Mm. That's taken also from Psalms chapter nine, verse eight to eleven, Jeremiah twenty nine, verse eleven to fourteen, Matthew eleven twenty eight to thirty, and we also have it in John chapter fourteen fifteen to eighteen, praying for the living and the dead. Mm. Where we get that from Mac. Two Maccabees thirty-eight to forty-six. It's beautiful uh, how you know all these actually uh, references stretch from the Old, Old Testament, Testament and into the New, New Testament, Testament yes. mm. as well. Mm. Yes, yeah. that's very very beautiful. So, so, just a reminder: if you're listening to us right now on our live stream, off the pulpit goes out every two weeks on Tuesday mornings at eight thirty a.m. Mm-hmm. The bro- uh, encore broadcast is tonight at 8 p.m. and tomorrow at 5 p.m. So if you want to catch this at your own time and uh, also share this, you know, with a loved one and yeah. a friend, you can catch our podcast on our Catholic Ashley Radio app or on Spotify or even Apple Podcasts. Also, if you want to uh, see how we look like and, you know, catch these interesting <laughs> conversations that we're having right now, you can head also to our Archdiocese uh, YouTube channel, for more episodes like this. Indeed. Now, once again, uh, thank you so much to our thank guest. You. Thank, yeah, you, yeah, thank you, Father. Father thank Ignatius you. here. Father is a parish priest of St. Anthony's, uh, St. Anthony of Padua in Woodlands. Uh, he's also professor of liturgy at the St. Francis Xavier Major Seminary here in Singapore. And he's chair of the Archdiocese and Liturgy Commission and also master of ceremonies for all our major liturgical celebrations here in the Archdiocese. Father, we're going to see you soon again. Soon. Yes. Right? So thank you for, uh, for being merciful to us <laughs> <laughs> and uh, saying yes to come back. Yes. We'll see you again. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Bye.